I'm Brigham Larson with Brigham Larson Pianos. This piano just came in today with Walter Piano Transport. They're awesome. I've used them for a long time um, and they are just great to deal with. This is a story in Clark that we're going to be refinishing and rebuilding. Um, actually, I can't remember if they're going to have this refinished. We're going to rebuild it. I think we are doing... I'll look. It's, I've got it in my notes. Uh, but this piano was in um, Louisiana. It was in one of the, uh, the recent hurricanes uh, and, and so their, their home was, uh, was badly damaged and this was, this was one of their family heirlooms in, in the hurricane. Um, and so while they're, while they're rebuilding, um, we're going to be rebuilding their piano, which is cool. I think, I think they just found us online, which is, which is just awesome. I'm excited to, excited to do some rebuilding on this piano. It's approximately, oh, I'll, I'll look up the year. Um, it's actually before I open that up, let's play it. I haven't, I haven't actually played it yet. See what a hurricane piano sounds like. Um, it's approximately, oh, I'd say 1905, 1910, something like that. I'll look it up and we'll, and we'll put it in the description. Let's listen to it. That's what a hurricane sounds like. tuning card from 1979, Gary Smith in Lake Charles, Louisiana, on Creole Street. That's kind of cool. Creole Street. I don't think we have any many, we have very many Creole Streets in Utah. We have Center Street and Main Street and State Street. what a hurricane will do. I'm going to get this thing off. I think the wood is pretty badly swollen. I think the glue is released. Okay, so this piano was a player at one time. You can see the holes in there, and that's what that, that cabinet on the front was. These hammers are totally shot, totally, totally worn out. Same with the strings. Wow, those strings are rusty, full of rust. strings, very corroded action. Um, obviously the ivory is in very poor condition, which I suspect that when I'm a hundred and, I don't know. Actually, I'm, I'm gonna revise my estimate. I think this piano is probably 19, I'm gonna say 1915-ish. We'll, we'll look it up. Okay, down here, soundboard, it's got some little cracks, we can repair those. There's that damper, oh, at least one of them. That's missing. That's missing. There's another one right there, but it doesn't matter because we're just going to be replacing them with brand new dampers. Yeah, we've got a bridge. Crack 
there. Let me redo that bridge. Uh, the bridge is here. Oh, pretty solid, actually. And up there, the bridge looks pretty solid. But the lots of, yeah, that's that's not something that we deal with much here in Utah. That is definitely moth, moth damage. Yeah, there's moth um, little shells, and or they've they've eaten through this and little trails that I see in there where they've kind of eaten their way through the the felt. Of course, felt is wool. It's not it's not extensive moth damage, but oh, there some on the some on these as well. Anyway, I'm looking forward to doing this one. This is going to be so completely transformed that's going to be it's always so satisfying to to uh take a take a piano like this that uh that is loved beloved by the family and uh and return it to um like it was 100 years ago